Jacob Flickinger was a new father, a Canadian veteran. Now his family is working to bring his body home from Gaza. He believed very strongly that the work he was doing was important, especially in this case, knowing that there was starvation out there. Flickinger was one of the seven aid workers killed by a series of Israeli airstrikes on their aid convoy in Gaza on Monday. Born in Saint-Georges, Quebec, to a Quebec mom and an American dad, he spent more than a decade in the Canadian Army, including a tour in Afghanistan. This fall, he decided to use his military training and joined the World Central Kitchen to help the nonprofit with logistics and security. Their convoy was marked, clearly marked, um, and they were on a well-used humanitarian route. So... In my opinion, it was a targeted kill. Flickinger's parents say they're mourning, but they're also angry. World Central Kitchen says its aid convoy had just dropped off food supplies in a central Gaza warehouse when it was hit by precision strikes. This, despite coordinating its movements with the Israeli army beforehand and traveling within a de-conflicted zone. We call for a full investigation. Israel needs to respect international humanitarian law. The strikes also killed an Australian, Polish and three British nationals, as well as a Palestinian, sparking international condemnation. Israel's military says an independent body will investigate. It was a mistake that followed a misidentification at night during a war in a very complex conditions. It shouldn't have happened. That's not good enough for Jacob Flickinger's parents. The people who are suffering now are the innocent on both sides, the civilians. And it's continuing a cycle that will never end unless we make a break with this violence. The family has set up a fundraising campaign to help Flickinger's wife and 18-month-old son as they adjust to a life without him. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Montreal.